So the next thing we're gonna look at is how to install the app as well as register an account. It's actually quite simple. You need either a smartphone like one of these or a smart tablet featuring Android OS 6.0 or an iOS 11.0 or greater. It's also important to note that the smartphone must support dual Wi-Fi band capability, both 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5.0 gigahertz. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with our iOS device first. And we're gonna click on the App Store here and we're gonna look for our More About Scout. All right, and then from there, we'll download it and then click Open. So this here is our main hub. We're gonna go ahead and click on Sign Up and then we're gonna register via email. And then we're gonna verify it via six digit code which should come in your email. If it's not in your main email, be sure to check out your spam. Okay, now it says, would you like to receive notifications? This is very important, especially uh, if the robot detects something, it has to report back to you. So alerting that is actually very important. So up next we're gonna do is connect it to our Android device. So we're gonna go open up our Play Store and we're gonna look for our Scout app. More about Scout, I'm gonna click on that and we'll click on open. Now it's asking us to access our photo, media, and files on this device. So you wanna make sure you click allow and we're gonna click log in or sign up. So in this case here, since we were already created an account with our iOS device, we're gonna be logging in with our Android device. And just like that, you can go ahead and download it on your Android device. The first thing you wanna do is turn on our Scout. But before we do, if this in fact is a used model that you purchased, you want to make sure you reset it. Now the way that works is quite simple. On the back here is a reset button. So all you have to do is find a tool or some kind of pen, press the reset button for a few seconds, and it should notify you with the beep that it has been resetted. There we go, just like that, it is officially resetted. We'll go ahead and open up our Scout app here. Uh, so it says monitor, discover, explore, and this here will be our main hub. So you do see monitor, patrol, program. Now on the top right, it says disconnect, and it's just no Wi-Fi, and then you have settings. So we're gonna click on disconnect, and then we're gonna connect to our Scout's Wi-Fi. So we're gonna look for our Scout in our Wi-Fi settings, and we're gonna click connect. Now the default password is R0123456. So once we click join, we can go ahead and go back into our app, and it should give us our next prompt once it's fully connected. From there, we can go and assign our own custom password to override the original. And it's gonna ask us if we wanna connect via remote Wi-Fi. So this allows it to connect to directly into your home's Wi-Fi. So if you're out and about, you can go ahead and control it remotely. So we're gonna click no for right now. Now on the top right, it indicates which setting it's in. So right now it shows a phone connected to our Scout, meaning it's connected via Wi-Fi direct mode. So this here will give you more better latency and allows you to go ahead and control it a little bit easier. Now you also have your Wi-Fi, you have your battery life, and then you have your settings mode. Setting modes allow us to go ahead and connect to it, change the password, video in terms of resolution, anti-flickering, night vision, bit rate, display rate, and a variety of other things. Control allows us to go ahead and see the sensitivity that we can allow to calibrate, uh, including the IMU sensor. And then the system allows us to go ahead and control the different sound effects, detect a siren effect. So you have a variety of different things that you can do. All right, so the next thing we'll look up is how to go ahead and set up the Wi-Fi router mode. Now it's important to note that when Scout doesn't have any home Wi-Fi configured, users can't press the Wi-Fi button on the side to switch between Wi-Fi direct as well as Wi-Fi router mode. When users set the first home Wi-Fi router, the bot will automatically connect to the Wi-Fi router mode and join the network. Now after that, then you can go ahead and press this button here and switch between the two different modes. So just keep that in mind when you first get it, you do have to connect to your home Wi-Fi to make it work. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So the next thing we'll do is configure our Wi-Fi router mode. So under settings, we can find our current Wi-Fi of our home in this case and connect to it uh, via directly of the Scout. So there we are. So now that we've successfully configured our Wi-Fi router mode, I can be out and about and control our robot remotely. Now, Scout tends to link to the 5.0 gigahertz Wi-Fi as a priority, but 2.4 gigahertz can go ahead and give a wider coverage over a specific area. Now, it's also important to note that only WPA2 protocol is supported. Now that we have our home Wi-Fi configured, we can go ahead and switch between the two different modes by simply pressing the Wi-Fi button here on the side. 